Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead, and welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today's video, we are doing a fake versus real comparison on the Fear of God Essentials um, t shirt, triple black. I was able to cop the original or the authentic uh, shirt from Vintage by Street Couture, and the other one, uh, I was able to find it somewhere else. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you where to buy, especially that this video is not to promote fakes, but basically this is an educational video. It's another buyer beware sort of video, and of course, I would wanna do this video at least for the education of the many people who are actually trying to buy these kinds of shirts. Pretty excited for this one, and I hope you are too, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for checking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're new here and you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe if you like videos just like this. Alright, so I've been waiting to do this video for a long time now and of course I would really want to wear my uh, FOG Essentials shirt. I believe these are called the, um, or the season where these guys were released were the uh, fall winter 2020 and this one is brand new i usually just buy used uh figure of god items but for this one this one is brand new before i actually considered wearing the shirt uh i want to know what's the difference with the fake one and and is it actually worth it to buy an original or an authentic shirt than a uh, replica shirt this one is the authentic one this one is the fake one um, before we go ahead and talk about like the differences, this one is retailed for only forty dollars. All right, so forty dollars US on retail, but of course, of course, after resale pricing and all, this one landed about eighty dollars, if I'm not mistaken. It's about eighty dollars US, and this one I was able to cop for about uh, less than one thousand pesos. So that's like a. Uh, $20 I think so with pricing out of the way I would want to go ahead and double check on what you are or what you need to expect and how you can spot a fake versus real fear of God essentials uh, black t-shirt all right guys so let's go ahead and check on the shirts right here let's start off with the overall packaging of uh, the, the shirts right so the for the fear of God for the original or the authentic one it does come in this sort of taupe or tan uh, plastic zip bag all right so it came in that and as you can see here the logo says essential sphere of god now on the other one the fake one or the replica shirt this one comes in this uh translucent um yeah plastic bag you can actually see through it so as you can see here again it is translucent it's also a zip uh ziploc bag and the branding on it says here fog fear of god essentials I might have seen this on some plastics before. Uh, I'm just not pretty sure what season they were used, but comment down below if this one is the Fall Winter 2020 collection. So let's flip them around. So as you can see here, it has pretty much the same taggings. You do have the warning, uh, warning signs over here. This is not a toy, blah, 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 so on and so forth. But this one has a tag here. The legit one has a tag here and it pretty much says large size in black so it's pretty um uh pretty straightforward this one has chinese writings or a chinese sticker the cell xl so i copped actually a uh, an xl on the fake ones because sizing on, on these guys are real small so let's go ahead and pull out the shirts so this one is the fake one let me pull out the the authentic authentic one all right Hey guys, we're interrupting this video for a very, very, very special announcement. I have been waiting so long to do this giveaway and I do think na ito ang pinaka right timing natin para gawin na to. So what we are doing is we're giving out 5,000 pesos worth of gift certificate for you to buy any sneakers sa AP exclusive ang ating Instagram selling page. So pwede kang bumili ng isang sneaker, pwede kang bumili ng dalawa sneaker, basta anything, 5,000 pesos will be on the house. That is gonna be for free. Kung mas mahal sa 5,000 pesos yung binibili mo sneaker, that's fine. All you have to do is pay for the difference and for the shipping. Ngayon, total, meron naman ibang sneakers dyan na medyo mura lang. 
sa AP exclusive, pwede kang bumili ng dalawang sneaker or tatlong sneaker. Basta magkakasya lahat sa 5,000 pesos. So again, any sneaker that you see listed available on AP exclusive, kasama lahat yan. At naroon tayong 5 simple steps kung paano makakasali sa ating ongoing giveaway. Number 1, subscribe to my main channel, The Jello Pineda Channel. Number 2, subscribe to my new YouTube channel. This is Jello Pineda Vlogs. Number 3, follow me on Instagram. It's at Jello Pineda underscore 03. Number 4, like my Facebook page which is linked on the description. And then number 5, like and comment on this Instagram post with the words done and tag 3 friends. The winner will be drawn once na nagkaroon na ng 1,000 subscribers ang Jello Pineda Vlogs na channel. So yun ang ating mga mechanics. I do hope magustuhan ninyo ang ating munting giveaway na to. Let's not waste more of your time. Good luck and back to the video. Off the bat guys, you will be definitely definitely see the difference especially in the color of the shirt so the original or the authentic shirt is actually it does have that little sort of fade to it but in my eyes what i can see right now it does have that greenish uh hue to it it's not like a an all black shirt it does have again a green hue to it in my in my opinion while on the fake one it's a super black t-shirt yep you can see here that is spot on difference on on these kinds of shirts fabric itself now the fabric on this uh shirt right here is pretty stretchable it's somewhat like a latex sort of a uh, sort of a uh, fabric as you can see here it is pretty stretchy i'm not really sure what the right words to say are but the shirt overall is pretty pretty stretchy um definitely definitely not made out of the usual cotton that uh, we used to have or we used to use this one is made out of that thick cotton or heavy cotton that is actually the feel of this uh, shirt right here of the original or the authentic shirts now let's go ahead and check on the actual um, print on the shirt as you can see they are pretty pretty identical especially with sizing this feel pretty similar to the touch um, this is more rubbery or it does have a little uh, grip your fingers doesn't slide too much on the uh, print on the authentic uh, shirt while the fake one it's pretty um, pretty slidey if that's even a term I don't really know overall dimensions overall sizing of the letters on here are pretty that's pretty scary right there it's like they're made from the same factory now let's go ahead and compare the FOG bags over here uh, I think the the light might be too strong so this one is the authentic one this one is the fake one they look very very identical except for the shading but not that much of a difference at all what you can actually see here basically guys is the uh, fear of God text this one actually shines it's more glossy um, this one is just flat white so that's I think that the, yeah so that's the difference that I can spot over here the fake one does not come with Paxson branding this one does as you can see here it's from Paxson it does have the style code color code and so on large size over here this one does not come with any of that placement of the tag the authentic ones they are here on the uh, left like left arm the nylon string on the Paxson branding is actually in the shirt while the uh, essential sphere of god tag here has a uh, safety pin it does have a safety pin over here in black well the fake one this one is actually just here on the uh, on the label on the uh, color of the shirt all right guys so let's go ahead and check on the tags on the actual shirt now let's take a look on the uh, authentic uh, shirt right here so you do have the essential sphere of god branding tag here on the back of the collar or on the collar of uh, the shirt all right and of course what i actually can feel here this one is rubbery it is embossed as you can see here it is embossed hope the camera can pick it up but there you go it is embossed and you can definitely definitely feel it here it's rubberized same as the made in vietnam uh, tag here uh, which has the size in large and if you feel it like that the letters on uh, this particular tag is also embossed. Facing, of course, they're pretty much apart from the actual um, tag here in the center. This one is a little on the left. So as you can see, the spacing. And for the fake one, it is the spacing is, well, start off first with the, the tag. Pretty similar. You can actually feel the essentials embossed. It does not have that rubbery finish to it. The uh, size tag this one is an XL so the size tag over here guys as you can see this one um, is right next to the tag 
right next to the color tag or the essentials tag. And at the same time, guys, this one is not embossed. It's just flat. It's just printed on. So at the back, they do have the essentials uh, rubberized uh, rubberized finishes over here. On this side, this one is the authentic one. This one is the fake one. Although they are pretty, pretty similar. I can see here spot on difference would be, of course, the stitching. The stitching on the authentic one, of course, is spot on. It's very clean. On the fake one, you can actually see some like uneven stitches, but very, very minimal. And at the same time, on the actual rubber, of the label here at the back. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up, but here on the original or on the authentic t-shirt, this one is more of that gray uh, gray rubber, while this one is a lighter shade of um, probably about gray as well, or more of that, I don't know, it's like tan or something. I'm not sure if you guys can see the spot on difference, but in my eyes, this one is more of that smoke rubber, and this one is more of that lighter shade now sizing on this one on the original shirt or on the authentic shirt i got a large and how they fit to me actually is pretty boxy i was only uh, was looking for a medium for uh, on these shirts but again since they are um, a little boxy so if you want them to be a little more longer than the usual cut then you would need to go uh, at least uh, full size up. So again, I got a large. I guess wearing a Fear of God Essential shirt should really be a little loose. Now sizing on the fake ones, knowing that these are from China and they go with Asian sizing. The sleeve is a little short, so it feels like a muscle shirt to me. Uh, they try to be boxy, but they're not. And, but actually, the fit on this one is okay. If, if you don't know the, the fit of a true or an authentic uh, shirt right here you it would definitely look legit and so on with all those brandings and all at the front and in the back it's just the actual actual color that would uh, pretty much uh, be the difference so yeah those are all the spot on differences that i can see with an authentic shirt of uh, fear of god essentials and a fake one or a replica one and uh, for me it is pretty pretty scary but if you know what you are buying of course again buyer beware there might be someone or someone else who might be selling these shirts right here and trying to prove that they are an original or an authentic piece but they're actually not so again this video is just to at least guys, let you know, let you guys know what's the difference and how to spot a fake versus a real shirt or a fear of God piece. So there you guys have it. Now guys, let me know in the comment section down below if it's actually worth buying an original or an authentic shirt versus a fake replica shirt. And of course, what are your principles? Are you all about the uh, hype or like, are you gonna be buying just so that you can resell them in time? Or do you just like the branding and all? And what do you think about, you know, buying counterfeits? Anything that you feel about this sort of uh, situations. And at the same time, guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button here on the bottom of the screen. It does help me out. It does help out with algorithm. It helps the channel grow and reach new people, new audiences for this channel. And I would really, really appreciate if you would do. And at the same time, if you like videos just like this, please feel free and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you get notifications just in case new videos like this pop up on my channel so there you have it thank you so much for checking on this video today guys and i will see you on the next one peace guys